Hello Salem, I'm your Mayor Chuck Bennett and back with you for this first week of May uh, for some news and information about the great things happening at the City of Salem and in our community. Let's start with two big water project announcements. First, the City of Salem is busy working to increase our water storage capacity with improvements to the aquifer storage system at Woodmansea Park. If you live near or are a park user, be sure to look out for the construction near the entrance. Um, it's expected to be ongoing for the next year. Then we know that as we move from uh, winter to spring, the algae season will also be on us. The city remains focused on regular water quality tests while also making the final preparations for the new ozone water treatment facility planned to be opened this June. Great news as the ozone treatment process is effective at absorbing harmful bacteria. Learn more about this on the city's website. Now here's a shout out to the students of the Career Technical Education Center at Salem Public Schools. I recently met with a few students from SeaTech Business Program to talk about entrepreneurship in Salem's growing business culture for a podcast assignment they were working on. It was a fantastic experience to speak with Salem's youth about their perspectives on business development and leadership. For those of you who may not know, SeaTech is a joint venture between private industry and public education with the purpose of helping Salem Kaiser students develop academic proficiency and technical skill for our modern job market. Find more on the web link that appears on your screen. Well, today I'm really pleased to be able to speak with one of our new Salem City Council members, Jose Gonzalez. He represents Ward 5 in Northeast Salem. We're going to chat a little about his new council position, his role as a small business owner, and as a community volunteer. Well, good morning, Jose. It's uh, great to have a chance to sit and talk with you. Could you just give a quick description of your ward? Uh, so people understand what part of the city you represent. Yeah, it's primarily based in Northeast Salem, and it's just north of Market Street. Okay. Bordering I-5, it goes up around the fairgrounds, down Pine a little, up Parkway, Portland Road, and then it gets pretty much the whole Jan Ray area. Really? Yeah, okay. so it's a funny little figure, but um, it makes sense, I guess. It does. It, it does. Is it, a, is it a community of interest, or what, what, what pulls that together? You know, I think it's, it's proximity to the freeway. Yeah. In okay. other words, you live here, and you can jump on the freeway in a minute or two, a couple minutes. And I think that's one of the things that pulls people together and the business community. Right. Yeah. In fact, speaking of the business community, we're here in a business you own, La Familia uh, Cider Company. Tell us a little about that. You know, it's a family-owned business. Yeah. You know, uh, if I'm here, it's to enjoy it. Right. You know, because this is, you, if you come here, you'll meet my son, JJ, my daughter, Jazz. That's who you'll see. That's yeah. the face of this company. And it's, a, it's just a great company we started, family-based. Um, we think of community in everything we do. Our mural back here is a fellow from Woodburn who brought his Oaxacan heritage. Ah, okay. That's, those colors are representative of that. You know, this, uh, these tables were made by local producer Sparrow Furniture. This wood is actually sustainable wood from Xena. It's uh, a forest company. It's a lumber company right outside Fantastic. in West Salem. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, uh, you know, they support refugees. We make donations to various nonprofits, whether it's DACA uh, recipients, uh, we made, um, this month was Mid Valley Literacy Center, a church in South Salem. We're actually, we're working with the Indigenous People Day group because we helped a little last year, but we're going to we want to help a little more this year. That's you know, so it's, but great. for everybody else, they just got to know this is their second home. That's all they got to know. <laughs> and please come on down. Yeah, and we yeah. got our great family partner, Azul's Taco, so. It's, it's a one-stop. One-stop shop. Yep, one-stop, two shops. <laughs> it's <laughs> great. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I know family is really important to yeah. you. Tell me a little about your background, kind of where do you come from, yeah. how'd you get here? Yeah, you know, my parents are from Mexico City. Okay. Right, they got here in the early 70s. And there's six of us, six of us children, but I was the first American born. I was born in Portland. We happened to be living in Silverton, 
then we moved to Mount Angel, Woodburn, Harvard, yeah. Aurora, back to Mount Angel. And then I've been in Salem about 25 years. I'm married, father of four. And you know, we started off as farm workers and it's just hard to imagine how different my life is from where we started. It's just completely, yeah. it's like a movie to me. Yeah, yeah. That, that's really interesting. I lived in Hubbard and Woodburn about the same time you were apparently oh, yeah. being born. <laughs> I was editing the newspaper in Woodburn, so I, I, I really know the world you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so you also own another business. You're in the real estate business? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about that. It's Tucasa? Tucasa Real Estate is somewhat... Uh, Tucasa Real Estate has been in Salem 25 years. Wow. I've been there, this is my 24th year. You know, uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> it. I got into real estate sort of by accident. Uh -huh. What got me in was one thing, really was providing for my family. But what kept me in was how important housing is. Yeah. You know, because my dad, when we lived in Mount Angel, he ran a migrant homeless shelter for 20 plus years. And so that's, we lived on site. Yeah. We, those people became our friends. They became family in a sense. You know, so housing has really been part of my life um, since I was a mid-teenager. That's great. And so it was just, what kept me here was remembering that, you know, home ownership, housing is, um, now it's on the newspaper every day, but it's been in top of mind for me forever. That's great. Yeah. So you're elected to the city council. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things uh, in watching social media generally, uh, and you uh, specifically when you are, are talking, it's about, you talk about the junta, the togetherness, and I've, you've mentioned any number of times in council yeah. some of the ways you are applying that in your, in your ward. Tell me a little about that and what's going on and, yeah. and how are you liking the council, I guess. Is no, it? I mean, it's, it's, it's been great so far. Oh, good. Unfortunately, we're on Zoom, I virtual, know. <laughs> so, you know, there's... You and I not, rarely see each other like that's this. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, but that word juntos does mean a lot. That's a great question, Mayor. I say it because going back to where my initial early memories as a kid and what we were doing as a family, and then where I am today, it wouldn't have been possible without the help of other people. Yeah. Impossible. You know, and through this journey, even to today, who I work with is everybody. Yeah. I don't ask political party. I don't ask who they voted for. It doesn't matter to me. If you want to work on bettering Salem, I'm going to work with you. I'm above all that. Yeah. And uh, it's been an interesting ride. I'm just going to keep it going because the one thing I am is stubborn. <laughs> Right. Yeah. And I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna keep going my way. Great. Great. How, how's the response been in the in the ward? Because uh, you're going to neighborhood groups. Yep. You're doing a lot. I know firsthand. You're you're meeting people where they live. And how 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 is that? How's the reception? And how are you finding folks responding? They're in the middle of COVID. They've mm -hmm. seen wildfires. I mean, it it's kind of like worst year ever. How are, how are, how's the response going out there? The first thing I did as a counselor is help to clean up Hawthorne Road between Silverton Road and Sunnyview. Wow. 760 pounds of garbage. Oh, yeah. It was four Saturdays of backbreaking work, right? And I sort of did that for myself first, right? Before I ask anybody to do anything, I'd be, I'd be, I better be willing to do it first, right? And so that got me that. As a counselor, to do it as a counselor is a different experience. It's just, it's, it seems different. I encourage everybody to run for office one day. They have to feel it, you know. <laughs> try and, this out. <laughs> yeah, try it out because it's totally different process when it's your name on the sign. Now, in our neighborhood, as I'm reconnecting with my neighbors, they're starting to share their concerns. Whether, and it's mostly around safety. Yeah. It's cleanliness, livability. And they really appreciate the fact that I'm pushing away the noise and I'm listening to them. Yeah. And that was really my commitment when I ran and I knocked on some doors before COVID, is your voice will be there. And some of these, and what people might not understand about me is, sometimes my vote might not be how I might personally vote. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna really take it based on what people in my neighborhood want. You know, mm -hmm. you're the, uh, 
it's been years since we've had uh, a Latino mm -hmm. uh, person on the council. It's been decades almost. Uh, and uh, I think the expectation sometimes people have uh, is that you're going to bring new and different uh, issues to the table. And I've been in enough meetings now uh, to begin to realize the issues people have here in Salem are the same. It doesn't matter what your ethnic or socioeconomic background is. It is safety. It is. Are you finding the same kind of thing, or am I missing it here along no, the way? No, I agree with you. I agree with you, Mayor, because, you know, when being born here, I consider myself first an Oregonian, yeah. an American, but the, the background is so rich, so different, right? And that's, that's who I am, Yeah. right? And most of the issues are the same. Like I said, the political noise, you know, brings uh, a false sense of what a community really is, yeah. right? And I'm gonna always bring the truth, even if it's hard for some people to hear, and it really is the basics. Great. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, Jose, I can't, uh, can't tell you how much I, how pleased I am you're on the council. I've known you for a number of years, and I was very excited when you decided to run and now that you're serving. So uh, we'll look forward to our next couple of years together. Thank you very much for spending time with me today. Mayor, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.